Hi, this is Crystal. I am going to show you how to convert text to a table, merchant center cells, add borders, and create a table of tables in your Word document. While I am using Word 2013, the process is the same for 2007 and 2010. I have a Word document that has a table essentially, but I've used tabs to create it. Now I wish to turn this into an actual table. So let me come down in the lower right and I'll just zoom out a little bit so we can see everything. Select all this text and on the insert ribbon under table, I click on the drop down and I choose Convert text to table. I will have two columns, OK. And that gives me columns. In this case, these first entries, and I'll just take the non-printing characters off so it's easier to see, are actually all number. One of the things I like to do is to just merge these cells. So I'll select all the cells right click on the selection and choose merge cells. Now number goes all the way at the top. I like it to be centered so I'll just hover over the plus sign in the upper left hand corner and right click the mouse go to table properties on cell I'll choose center for all the alignment. Now number is in the middle. I'll do the same thing with the two data types that are string. I'll select both of those cells, right click, choose merge cells. Same thing with yes or no, right click, choose merge cells, and I'll do the same with the currency cells. There we go. My table looks much nicer. Now another thing I like to do on tables, instead of having the default black line around, I'll select the table by clicking on that little plus sign in the square, drop down the borders, choose border and shading on the color, I'm going to choose kind of a medium gray, click on all, OK, and now my border lines don't compete with my data. The last thing to do would be to label this. In my text, I have common data types and access. I'm going to select that and cut it so it goes onto the clipboard. And on the references ribbon, I'll choose insert caption and it assumes it's a table and that's correct. I'll press a period and then a space and then paste my name and OK. Now in this case, I only have one table. Let's assume I'm at the end of my document. I've put my table of contents on and now I want to insert a table. So I'll choose insert table of figures. I look at the dialog box. I can choose what kind of table I want. In this case, it is a table of tables. I could also have insert a table of figures, a table of equations. I can create other tables I will say OK and in this case I just have one. If you have a document with a lot of tables this is very very handy and a very nice reference for the readers of your document to go directly to what they're looking for.